Hi guys, very welcome to Mentro and yet another video podcast. I hope you're all doing fantastic out there. So, today on the podcast, guys, I would like to welcome you to the cabin crew trainer inside of Simtech in Dublin. Simtech are the ones that are sponsoring this episode, just bringing it to you. They are making MCC courses, so if you're in the market for an MCC course, uh, check out their website and uh, contact them. Right, guys, so... Today on the episode, we are going to be talking about the brace position. Was the brace position made in order to kill as many passengers as possible? Or maybe there was another reason behind it. Stay tuned. Right guys, so I had originally no intention whatsoever to make a video about um, brace positions, all right? Um, but a couple of days ago, I came across this conspiracy theory on the internet saying that the brace position was um, constructed to kill as many people as possible in the event of a crash, all right? Whenever I hear or see something like that, I feel an immediate urge to try to give you the, um, you know, my perspective on it and bring you a couple of facts. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do today. Now, the brace position is a fairly new invention, actually. People think it's been around for a long time, but in the UK, at least, it was adapted after the Kegworth air disaster, which I will link to up here, uh, and that was in 1989. Uh, during that disaster, the, uh, the flight crew came out just about 10 seconds before the impact and told the passengers to brace for impact. Now, because there was no time to instruct the uh, passengers on how the brace position was supposed to be done, it meant that some did the brace positions and some didn't, which meant that after the crash, the, um, the medical examiners could evaluate based on the injuries that the passengers had sustained uh, if it was worse or less, depending on what kind of position they were in. And they came to a conclusive, they find conclusive av evidence that the passengers who had used the brace positions were, had less severe injuries. Okay, so this is what it was based on. Now, what is the brace position? And the brace position, uh, you know, does a couple of things. First of all, the first thing you should always do when you hear brace, 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 is make sure that your, that your seat belt is securely fastened securely fastened okay next thing you want to do if you're in a seat where you can touch the seat in front of you is you put your hands above your head like this protecting the sides of your face with your arms okay like this put your feet slightly behind your knees and the feet flat on the floor and then bend forward the head so that it's resting against the seat in front of you. And the reason you want to do that is because you want to be resting against the surface that you're most likely to hit in case of a quick deceleration, all right? That's the reason that you're moving it as close as possible and as low as possible. You're making yourself as small as possible in order to, to avoid debris hit and things like that. So that's the, that, that is what you're trying to achieve, okay? Now, the uh, brace position is slightly different if you're sitting in a seat where you can't reach the seat in front of you. So, for example, in uh, business class or in first class, okay? And uh, I'll, I'll show you that one now, right? Right. So, if you're sitting in a seat where you can't reach the seat in front of you, then you are going to have to um, do it slightly differently. Okay, so first of all, as always, check that your seatbelt is securely fastened. Now, then you are going to, you don't have anything to rest your head against. So, the same thing with your feet, flat on the floor, slightly behind your knees, bend yourself forward, put your hands behind your legs, and hold your forearms much as you can. Put your head down as low as you can to protect the head, okay? There are variations on this, okay? But the idea is kind of the, the same. So put down, heads down, grab ankles. You would probably have heard that. Head, get heads down, grab ankles. So now I'm not a cabin crew. So if you have variations on this or if you think that I should do it slightly differently, please, you know, feel free to put it into the, uh, to the uh, comments line. But the point I want to make here, guys, is that airlines everywhere their priority is always your safety as a passenger. 
no airline in the world would ever want any of their passengers to be hurt okay and that is for pure survival reasons okay it's very very bad press for an airline to have any kind of injuries and let alone any uh, death okay so anytime you hear conspiracy theory like that it is completely not true i just cannot emphasize that enough it is not true guys i hope you like this video um as always subscribe to the channel and uh until next time, I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. I hope you've gotten the Mentor Aviation app, by the way. And uh, if you have, go in there and chat with me after the um, episode. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.